Hey there everybody, if you skipped ahead of this video, then one, you didn't follow directions, and two, you may be getting a little confused when you start looking at the individual instruments if you happen to play the trumpet, the mellophone, the saxophone, the clarinet, or the tenor saxophone. And this is why. Those instruments are referred to as transposing instruments. Let me break this down for what that means. Way back in the day, in the very beginning of writing down music, it was expected that students and practitioners of music had to uh, play a lot of instruments. In order to make that transition easier, instead of teaching their students to read new notes and therefore learn new fingerings, they had them learn how to read the same notes and then never change their fingerings. The problem was what they were reading was not what came out of the instrument. For example, the trumpet. The trumpet is a very old instrument in terms of how long it's been around, its many iterations, how long it's you know, been used in music. Most trumpets are B-flat trumpets. That means that the notes that come out of the instrument easily follow the B-flat harmonic series. You know, they're, they come out easier, you don't have to press anything down, they are naturally built to hit those notes. Now, most trumpets are B-flat trumpets, but not all trumpets are B-flat trumpets. There are things like C trumpets, where the tones that easily come out follow the C harmonic series. And there are E-flat trumpets, they follow the E-flat harmonic series. These are all different sizes. Because the trumpet is so old, they've been doing this transposing tradition for a very, very long time. Now, if you've been my student long enough, you know I don't like tradition very much unless it makes sense. I grew up playing the tuba. And the tuba, in comparison to the trumpet, is very young. That means that it wasn't really a thing around the time that this whole transposing element was a big deal. So, I play a B-flat tuba. Technically, it's in the same key as this instrument, except the tuba is considered non-transposing. That means that when I read B-flat, what comes out of the instrument is B-flat. With transposing instruments, we have a saying. It goes CC, sound name. So, when I play the trumpet and I see the note C on the page, what actually comes out of the instrument is B flat. Now, that's to help make sense of this conundrum that we all find ourselves in. We have instruments that are considered transposing that you play the note C and a different note comes out, a different note comes out. For example, an alto saxophone. You C C, but you sound E flat. Alto saxophones happen to be in the key of E flat. A B flat clarinet, C C, sounds B flat. Now, considering that I learned the tuba first, let me tell you a quick story. I play a B-flat tuba. I play in a band with a bunch of other tubists. In fact, a band of five tuba players. The guy on my right plays another B-flat tuba. We play the same notes, and we play the same fingerings to play those notes, because we're in the same key. The gentleman next to me plays a C tuba. It's a bit squattier, a bit fatter than mine. It has different overall tones. Here's the interesting part. We play the same notes. We sound the same notes. But we use different fingerings. The gentleman next to him plays an F tuba. We read, all of us read the same music. We sound the same notes. He uses different fingerings than us. And I say, Duh! <laughs> so 
So my big thing is, when I was going through music education, learning all these new instruments, my biggest question was, well, yes, I understand how to transpose, I understand the system, but I don't understand why it has to exist. So, I decided, when I have a band, I will teach them both ways. I will teach them how to read their instrument transposing, but because I believe that tradition is dumb, I will also teach them how to read non-transposing. I've learned the trumpet non-transposing. I know how to read it transposing, but I have learned it with the complete knowledge that it's a B-flat instrument, therefore B-flat is open, therefore that's B-flat. That is the note that comes out of my instrument, therefore that is the note that I should read. And that's what I believe. You don't have to believe that. I don't want to put my beliefs into your head. But I'm letting you know what my perspective is. That's why when I pick up a mellophone or a French horn, I don't say, oh, I'm playing F. No, I'm playing B flat. Because when I press down one, and I play, what comes out is B flat. That's the note that is sounded by the instrument. So, when you go through these videos, if you happen to play the trumpet, the mellophone, the alto saxophone, the tenor saxophone, in fact, any of the saxophones, the B flat clarinet, if you don't want to read in transposing, if that's confusing for you, if you're like, I don't, I don't get it, and if I want to play other instruments later, I don't want to be confused. I will teach you how to play non-transposing. I will teach you how to play that the note you see is the note that sounds. And that's it, if you want to learn that way. But be warned, the other way exists, and a lot of people are not as informed as you are will take that as fact. They will say, this is a transposing instrument. No, it can never work the other way. Of course it can, it's an instrument. It's not like I play C and halfway through the instrument decides, nope, I'm a transposing instrument and boop, out pops B flat. It doesn't happen that way, it doesn't work that way. That's not physics. So, that's not how science works. If you want to learn non-transposing, the note you see is the note you get. Let me know, and I'll adjust your parts. I will give you non-transposing parts. I will give you non-transposing fingerings, and it will be easy from, from the get-go. You'll just have to shift a little bit, but from then on, simple. If you don't want to do that, that's fine too. I'll continue to give you your transposed parts, and just know that what you're listening for may not be F or C, it'll be B flat. That's what you're listening for. You're listening for the concert pitch. And if I have transposing uh, players in, in the band, then I will just say, we are playing B flat concert. And you know that to you, B flat concert is C. And you know to your F horn that B flat concert is F. And that's just how we do it. That's it. So, but to help drive this point home, I've got my piano over here. I'm going to play for you B flat. Hear that note? Mm, that's our note. I'm going to play it up here too. Oops. Hear that? Now I'm going to play C. Does that bother you? Because it really bothers me. It irks me. And it's mainly because through all my years of schooling, I have done years of research and never found a real answer. Hundreds of years of music education teaching kids that, well, when you play C, it's not really C, it's B flat, but you know, it's you just gotta deal with it hundreds of years doing that? Really? 
lame. <laughs> so if you're like me and you don't like that, if that bothers you, you may learn non-transposing. Go right ahead, just let me know. Send me a little message, send me an email, and I'll fix your parts. That's it. And if you're totally confused by this video, leave a comment, send me a message, I'll help you. I'm not gonna leave you in the dust for this. But I want you to go into this, I don't want you going into this blind and then asking questions later in life, like wait, why did that, what, who? This is how it is right out of the gate. I don't want you to be misinformed. There are two ways to read music for some of these instruments and you can learn it whatever way you want. Just let me know. Anyway, if you're a brass player, please see the videos below. Woodwinds, yours are on the way. They're on the way. They are the next one in line that I'll be working on. So have an awesome day. Practice, and I'll see you next time. Bye.